Good day, this is the first lecture in the ESMO Anesthesia module. We're going to discuss theatre preparation. Our lecture objectives is going to follow the ABCDE approach. A. Airway equipment. B. Breathing. C. Circulation. D. Drugs and defib. And E. Environment. Always start your shift by checking your ABCDEs. For our airway equipment, we use the mnemonic MALES. M is for mask, which must be of the correct size, and also for McGill's forceps. A is for airway and ambu bag. Always have a device, for example, a Goodell oropharyngeal airway, to ensure a patent airway in your patient. An ambu bag as a backup when your ventilator fails is also important. L is for laryngoscope and LMA. Check that you have two laryngoscope handles and different sized blades. Assemble the laryngoscope and check that the light is shining brightly. If not, new batteries might be needed. If you have a video laryngoscope, have it ready and assembled. LMA is important for emergencies like can't intubate or can't ventilate scenarios. Have different sizes available. E is for endotracheal tube. Have different sizes available and also have a bougie and stylet ready in case of a difficult intubation. You will need a syringe to inflate the cuff and check that there's no leaks and then you can deflate the cuff again. S is for suction, scissors and strapping. It is crucial to have a working suction at hand. Check that you are able to generate a pressure of at least minus 40 centimeters water. A yank or a tip is also necessary. Scissors and strapping are needed to strap the ET tube to the face of the intubation. B is for breathing. As an ethetist, we often cause apnea by giving the patient propofol or a muscle relaxant. When apnea ensues, we have to then manually or mechanically ventilate our patient. And this is done by our anesthetic machine. But in case of machine failure, an ambu bag is crucial. The anesthetic machine needs to be checked that it is safe and in working order. Please look at the two videos that explains the anesthetic machine check. For your machine check, you start by checking the power supply, then the gas pipelines. Also check that your scavenging is working and that your oxygen cylinder is full. Next, check your gas analyzer and your oxygen sensor. The vaporizers are filled and can open easily. Also check the function of your flow meters, your APL valve, and your bag vent switch. Make sure your soda lime is not depleted. Check your breathing circuit for any leaks and ensure that you have a HME filter and a catheter mount available. Ensure that all your monitoring is available and functioning, including your ECG, your non-invasive BP cuff, a saturation probe, your capnograph, a gas analyzer, and that your oxygen monitor is calibrated, and that you also have an inhalational agent analyzer. C is for circulation. For that, we need various sizes intravenous cannulae, fluid and blood administration sets, and warm fluids. C is for defibrillator. You must know exactly where your defibrillator is, how it works, and know how to use it. Prepare the drugs that you will need for your next case and always draw up your emergency drugs. Make sure you label your drugs clearly.
is for environment and equipment for spinal or nerve block. Make sure your theater is warm, especially for burn patients or new nates. Also make sure you have a wedge device to ensure left lateral tilt for pregnant patients. Your bed must be working and able to change position. If you intend to do a spinal or a nerve block, make sure you have a sterile tray to do that, as well as a specific needle that you're going to need. In summary, you're going to need your ABCD in order to prepare your theater properly. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail.